Hi, this is Tanya Lux, and I'd like to run you through the new options with the Image Hose brush variants. I already have Essentials launched, and I'm going to come up to the brush selector. And where you find the Image Hose brush variants is inside of the FX category. So I select this, and the very top option in the variants is Color Hose Jitter. And there are three different Image Hose brushes to choose from. So you have the jitter, you have the linear size P, and the spray size P. And let me just explain what these names mean. So if we select the color hose jitter, and then we come up to the property bar where the image hose nozzles live, you have so many more options now than you had in six. Previously, you only had the leaves. So let's go ahead and select, um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the baby blue eyes. And with this particular brush, first I'm gonna show you using the mouse. So if I click and drag, all of the flowers are standing up vertical. Now if I grab my stylus for my Wacom tablet, depending upon the direction that I am pointing the stylus, it's actually going to flip the flower in that particular direction. So pretty cool. You have a lot more control if you're using a pressure sensitive drawing tablet. And the color itself, the saturation of that color is automatically jittered. There's no control via the stylus. So let's clear this off and we'll come down and select the second option, which is linear size P. And maybe we'll choose a different type of brush. Um, so this time I'm gonna grab these flowers and once again, we'll use the mouse and we will see flowers just kind of spray out, overlaid a little bit on top of one another when using the mouse. Now that I've got the stylus, I can vary the size based on the pressure. So right now down here, if I place very light pressure and start increasing, the flowers increase in size while using the stylus. And for the final brush variant, spray size P. So let's go ahead and grab that and another different type of nozzle. I've got Canadian geese. And if I use the mouse and spray, you'll see that it is scattering even though it's one level of pressure. The control that you get with the stylus is to adjust the size as well. So light to hard pressure adjusted purely with my pressure on the tablet. So these are the three options that we have. And I would like to open up a work of art and we'll modify this using some of the image hose options. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna to go to linear size and I'm going to use the leaves, but I'm going to add an additional layer in the layers palette. And I'm not gonna be too careful. So the brush is a little bit small and you can size up the brush on the property bar here. All right, so I'm gonna size the brush up a little bit and we'll go ahead and just spray some of these leaves. And I'm not gonna to be too careful. I'm not too concerned with this. We can always erase or do a little fixing up in just a second. All right, so we've got some leaves sprayed onto the balloon, but now it's completely covered up. So we're gonna use our composite methods, which are ways to combine layers together by modifying how they interact. Um, so we can essentially blend them together. And let's see here, I'm gonna try multiply. I know that it's still too dark, but I like the fact that it toned back the color just a little bit. And now I'm gonna use the opacity slider to take that back even more. And if I wanted to grab my eraser, I could do a little touching up. We could also have made a selection of just the outside of the balloon so that we didn't have to do any touching up. But the multiply method is very subtle. So even if some of the leaves were scattered a little bit outside of the balloon, we probably won't even see those. So now we've added a nice texture to the balloon, but we can do a little bit more. So I'm gonna add another layer and we'll go back to the brushes and let's take a look here. Um, I see some paragliders. So I'm gonna go ahead and select these guys. And now I'm just gonna tap using the stylus. So if I come over here and I start to tap and I'm gonna add, and this is varying the size 
of the paragliders for me. And I actually kind of like that. So we've got a few of them scattered around. It actually doesn't look too bad with just leaving it as a default layer and the colors as part of the image hose. But let's maybe try switching the method here. So I'm gonna try doing an overlay. Now where it's dark within the image, the paragliders are kind of darkened as well. So it looks like they're truly part of the environment. And that was just a quick introduction to the image hoses and how you can use them in unique ways. And I look forward to seeing what you do in your artwork. Mm -hmm.